my husband and I uh, got married in 1980. I moved down from my hometown of Jackson, Michigan, where I was born and raised and raised in my preacher daddy's house and playing the piano for my father's church for many years, almost 20 years. And just, you know, having a dream. Uh, while I was teaching school, I taught middle high school music and English uh, for about eight years. And, you know, just trying to be faithful in pursuing that dream and my calling of, you know, one day pursuing a ministry and a full-time vocation as a singer. And let me just say this, Bob, I never aspired to be a songwriter. Songwriting just kind of <laughs> sneaked up, it sneaked up behind me. Um, I've, always been a, I've always been a lover of words. I love to write and I love to read. And then one week after I quit my job in 1984 because a concert ministry began to encroach upon my full-time job as a school teacher. And by the time 1984 rolled around, I was really kind of juggling both ministry and home and school. And, um, and so I, my husband and I prayed about it and I quit my job in 1984. And that summer, I went out to the Christian Artist Music Seminar in the Rockies, competed out there in the songwriting uh, competition and the vocal competition, and I sat in on some songwriting workshops. And that really began to turn on the, the lights. And I realized that songwriting is a craft. It's a learned craft. But it, it began to just allow me to get my feet wet to associate with other writers who were writing, you know, really great songs and they deposited some wonderful writing tools and techniques into my life. And the very first song that I wrote after coming out of that conference was All Rise. Wow. Um, back in the summer of 1980, 1984. And it and um, the next year I went back to the competition and it ha happened to win first place. And that just kind of started this ball rolling of writing with more confidence, of being able to record songs that I felt were of a more industry level quality. And uh, that got the attention of uh, my friends at Word Records and I ended up signing with them in 1989. My first record with them came out in 1990. Carry On was that first record. And that just led to the opportunity to record some beautiful songs, like you mentioned, like With All My Heart, and Each One Reach One, and All of His Glory that I recorded as a duet with Michael English. Um, wow. it's, been a, it's been a wonderful journey for almost 38 years now. Babby Mason joining us today. It is the Fall 2021 Christian Product Expo in St. Louis. This is the Meeting House on Faith Radio. So, and I know I came on board at Faith Radio in 1991. I believe that around the same time that I came on board there, the album with all my heart is the uh the album that had just either had just come out or it came out not long after i came on board you mentioned that song being and i love what you said today because you you are asked well what's you know what's one of my favorite songs with all my heart title song to that album you said was one of your favorites it is <laughs> and i you know i kind of look at my songs you know people say people that are creative they write songs or they write books or um and we kind of say you know that our songs are kind of like our babies yep. you know they, they look like us they are conceived in love you hope that people you know will affirm them and so uh i i technically don't have a favorite kind of like a mother with her kids you love each one of them you know uniquely and different but but with all my heart really speaks the essence of my of my walk with the Lord and it kind of establishes my the prayer of my heart